Hello and welcome again. My name is C. A. Rahul Kumar. So in this video, I will discuss the exam sequence of IRMS, Indian Railway Management Service uh, Commerce Optional, right? So basically, there are three stages. First stage is the prelims stage. In this prelims stage, the questions will be MCQ based. Yes, you heard it very right. And it will be based upon negative marking. There will be one third negative marking, right? So there will be total two papers. One paper general studies and second paper civil services aptitude test. In the general studies, the paper will be, uh, uh, it will be including subject like history, geography, economy, environment, and art and culture, science and technology, current affairs, right? And in the civil services aptitude, aptitude test, you will have mental, mental ability, reading comprehension, decision making, uh, data interpretation, right? So this will be the syllabus of the CSAT. The GS is cutoff based, that is merit based cutoff will be there. Uh, cutoff is somewhere between 100, uh, you know, plus minus 10 marks. And in the civil services aptitude test, it is qualifying in nature. That means you score one third marks out of 200 and then you qualify it. There is no merit based cutoff and only GS is the deciding factor in the prelims. This is the MCQ, MCQ based paper and this happens mostly in the month of May every year. After you qualify the prelims, the result of the prelims will be out within three weeks, right? So for example, in 2023, the prelims is scheduled to be held on 28th May 2023. So within 21 days, that is maximum by 20th June, you will get the result of the prelims. The second stage, after you qualify the prelims, the second stage is the mains examination. This mains examination is writing based. That means you need to write the answer you need to write the traditional answers, right? So here there are two papers. One is the commerce optional and second is the language paper. If you are from the engineering background, then you can go for the engineering optional also, right? So this commerce optional is a deciding factor here because out of 500 marks, whosoever get the maximum marks will be eligible to appear in the interview, right? These language papers are qualifying in nature. That means you just need to score 25% out of 300 marks, right? This mains examination happens in the month of September end. And it will be held on two days. One day this commerce and second day this language paper. Based upon the marks that you score in the commerce, if you qualify the language paper, then your commerce marks will be counted. And based upon the commerce, the top, uh, top uh, people, they will get the interview goal, right? And then interview will happen somewhere between December to February next, uh, in a subsequent month, right? And interview, again, there will be total 100 marks and out of the 100 marks, how so much you score, the marks of this interview and the marks of this uh, commerce optional, they will be counted. Uh, so out of total 600, whosoever get the maximum marks, they will be getting the seat, right? So this is a whole examination pattern. I will also discuss about the syllabus of each of the uh, prelims, GS, CSAT, Commerce, everything. And I will also discuss the time schedule. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we have also given the Telegram channel link of the IRMS. Please subscribe to the DAC. Uh, that is, link is given in the uh, description. And we are also having the courses exclusively for the prelims, exclusively for the Commerce optional, and also a combination of both, right? So uh, please subscribe and all the best. God bless you.